What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and I'm back with another Pokemon card opening video, and today we've got, well, whatever this is, it's really just, uh, I don't know, I found this for like $10, it was a pretty good price, uh, it's a Tapu pin collection, and then you got the two booster packs right here, but yeah, here's all the little cool little pins and stuff, I really forget all, I'm pretty sure that one's Finny, like Tapu Finny, and I don't know their other names. I don't know these two. I'm not good with the, the Tapus, but anyways. And then the packs we have is uh, X and Y Evolutions, which I swear, X and Y Evolutions are in everything. And when I think my last, um, or my last card opening, we had an Evolutions pack. I don't know why, they're just everywhere. But then we have a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion, which I have never opened before, so I'm actually really excited to see um what it is like what what it has store for us and you got guzzlord on the front it looks like we have charizard right there so you know this seems like a really cool pack like i said it was um i just sort of found it for 10 bucks it's actually a pretty good deal so yeah let's get this bad boy opened up so here are the pins and stuff we got three of them um they actually look pretty cool i like the outline and stuff if you look at the back um well you see this thing that's just a little uh thing where you can hold it without having to touch the pointy part and, um, yeah, they're, like, gold on the back, too. I really like that. And, um, yeah, then we got the other two men. They actually do look pretty cool. I'll probably just be keeping these guys as little, uh, cool souvenirs or something like that. But, uh, yeah, gonna go ahead and move them to the side. And here we got the two packs. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the X and Y Evolutions because, um, I've never opened a Crimson Invasion. So, I kind of want to save that one for last. So, let's do the Evolutions one first. And boom, there we go. We got the pack opened up. I'm pretty sure it is three from the back for the X and Y packs. I hope I'm right about that. Let's see. Um, but yeah, here we go. We are going to start with a Charmeleon. Okay. Um, again, I really like how this is, like, the X and Y Evolutions pack is basically, you know, remastered versions of the old, like, first edition card. So I think that's really cool. But we have a Charmeleon. I don't know. I might have done the card trick wrong because isn't there usually an energy at the front? Who knows? Uh, next up, we've got Professor Oak's Hinge, one of these trainer cards. Oh, he looks mad. We got a mad Professor Oak right there. <laughs> um, Nidorino, I'm pretty sure I've gotten that Nidorino. That, that I'm pretty sure I've gotten that Nidorino before. I can't talk. We've got an Onyx. Okay. That's a pretty cool Onyx, actually. I like that one. Weedle. Oh, I think I just got this one, like, last episode or last card opening. So... You know, nothing too special. We got Machop. Yo, look how strong he is. He's like lifting up the big boulder. My man Machop. He's so he's such a beast. We got Tangela. Um, I know I've mentioned this before, but Tangela, you know, pretty sure it's based on Medusa because like you can barely see its face. You just see its eyes and like um I'm pretty sure they're not snakes around him, but they're like vines. But um yeah, I'm pretty sure it's based on Medusa. That's what I heard once. Oh, I skipped it. You kind of just saw a little bit of the reverse hollow there. My bad. But we have the Vulpix. Oh, I think I got that one last time as well. I guess since they're, these are really just, you know, remakes of the first edition packs, there's not as many cards um, as you would find. Like, there's not as big of a variety of cards. But we have a reverse hollow Electabuzz. Okay, I don't have that. Yo, that looks awesome, man. Ooh, look at that, man. The reflection looks so good. I don't have that Electabuzz. It's sort of like the simple background. It's just like all dark, and then you got the, um, looks like lightning going through the back, or just electricity. And the last card in this pack is, oh, a Hollow Mew? Oh my gosh. No way. I don't have a Mew. Oh, look how awesome that is. Oh my goodness, dude, what? That Mew looks amazing. No way. Oh my goodness, dude, that Mew is epic. Hollow Mew. Dang, that looks sick, man. Holy cow. Um, Man, just look at that. Look at the little background. Got sh you know, showed off. It's like, if you look at that angle. It sort of looks like stars and stuff. Dude, I don't have a Mew yet, and to get a reverse haul, or I mean, not a reverse haul, a hollow one out of, um, the, you know, or technically this isn't first edition, but like the remastered version of the first edition. That's just so awesome. Oh man, that Mew card looks sick. I will definitely be keeping this one safe and sound. So let's put it up there with the Electabuzz because I really like those two cards. And here's the code card. I'm gonna go, 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 yeah. Gonna go ahead and show it off because I can't talk, but yeah, there you go. 
And now let's get into the Crimson Invasion. So I'm pretty sure for the Sun and Moon packs, it's four from the back. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, here we go. I know this is a smaller card opening video, but to be honest, man, it was worth it. That Mew looks sick. But anyways, Grass Energy. We got, oh, look at that little um, Chinchino. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, it looks like, you know, Pokemon Cafe Mix, you know, the one that just came out for the Switch and stuff. Um, it kind of looks like that kind of art style, so that's actually really cool. I like the Cafe Mix art style. Oh, we got Gladion or Gladion, however you say his name. The weird dude. Uh, we have Laron. Ooh, Laron looking pretty cool. We've got Mankey. Oh, look, there's like a geyser in the background. That's kind of cool. I really like that. Three step strike. Wow, Mankey. <laughs> um, oh, Salandit? I'm not sure if I have a Salandit. So, this might be a new Pokemon that I don't have. So, that's actually kind of cool. I'm happy about that. It's the poison typing. Got a Spoink. Is Spoink in like a river or something? Dude, what? Can Spoinks do that? Can they like just float in the water? He's just vibing in the river, man. You know what? Let him vibe. Let the let the man Spoink just vibe. Carablast? Oh, this is a cool art style. Like the background. Oh, that's actually really cool. I like Carablast. Speaking of Carablast, if you haven't seen my Pokemon Black Shelmet and Carablast challenge, you definitely should. You know, I'm just saying, just saying. Um, <laughs> little shameless plug right there. But yeah, Carablast, look, I'm pretty cool. We have Bunnelby. I swear, I have so many Bunnelbees, but like, and I think, you know, oh, I probably have like all of the Bunnelbees. But here's another one that I don't have. <laughs> um, what's he doing? He's like, Got his eyes closed, he's like scared or something. I don't even know, man. Bunnelby, you good, bro? We've got a reverse hollow oh, Starly. Oh, look at the Starly. Oh, look at the Starly. He looks so cool. Love the pattern on the back. Now he's just chilling on the branch. He, he looks pretty awesome. Starly, definitely one of the cutest Pokemon ever. And last card is. Oh! Oh, Reggie Steel. Look, there's even like an. Uh, uh, Aether Foundation Worker with it. Oh, that's actually really awesome. What? Dude, that's cool that there's like the worker in, uh, there in it as well. He's like working. Must be like, what's he doing? He's like cleaning it or something? I don't really know. Yo, Reggie Steel, that's two legendaries. Um, uh, This one is just a rare, but like the Mew one is a hollow, man. Ooh, baby, this one was pretty cool. But yeah, I like that Reggie Steel. So nothing too insane um, out of these packs, but still I really like them. I'll go over the four, you know, main cards. Um, just as a little overview. Of course, we got the Starly right there. We got the Reverse Hollow Electabuzz, the rare Reggie Steel, and the rare Mew. You can't really see it. There we go. Um, or not the rare Mew, the Hollow Mew. But uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. They didn't get anything. Um, EXs, GXs. But, you know what, that's fine, because I'm actually really happy about these two legendaries. Um, because I don't have a Registeel, yeah, I don't have a Registeel or a Mew, so, um, yeah, if I could speak today, man, that'd be great, but I guess I can't. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this card opening. It wasn't too big, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not really sure what my next one's gonna be. I think I'm gonna open some Rebel Clash packs, because I got some more of those. And last time we opened them, we got, like, the Eldegoss V, so I'm hoping maybe we get some more good luck. But I am going to be on the lookout for a box um, that I haven't opened. Like, I know there's the, uh, there's the shiny, what is it? I forget. There's some, there's a ton of boxes that I haven't gotten yet, so I really want to try and get one of those. And one of them is, like, the shiny Tapu Coco, I think, or something like that. I don't know. It's one of them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, hit that bell to see more as it is really appreciated. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, deuces!